Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today's pick a card reading is a career and finance reading. We have three piles. Pile number one is represented by a piece of red jasper. Pile number two is represented by an amethyst cluster. Pile number three is represented by a piece of peacock ore. So go ahead and choose which pile resonates to with you. And while you're doing that, I'm going to take a moment to ask that if you like these readings, please hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on that bell icon so you can be notified of when I upload. And most definitely, leave me a comment down below. I love talking with you guys. It makes my day a whole lot brighter. So, three piles, pile number one, two, and three. Choose the one that's right for you. Comments will, uh, timestamps will be in the comments. And let's get started. If you need a bit more time, go ahead and pause that video. And here we go. Pile number one. My beautiful red jasper folk. You chose the red jasper. And your oracle cards for your career reading is... Deep Dark Sea Mermaid. Find solutions in the unknown places in the darkness. Number 16. So, if you're looking for a job, this is telling you to look in a place you wouldn't normally look. Um, if you've been checking the Help Wanted sections, this is saying maybe download one of the apps. If you have one of the apps, this is saying maybe check the Help Wanted section. This is saying check the the, the cork board at your local grocery store, at your local college, places like that where they have, you know, jobs posted. Um, this can also be checking Facebook and Instagram and things like that. Um, don't forget to peep on LinkedIn. The Eight of Cups has you walking away from something. Either you just left a job, um, I don't see this as you being fired. I see this as you either walking away from a job or walking away from an entire career field. Cards are telling you to hold on. We have the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles can be, you know, hang in there, but it can also mean to um, be careful. You know, you may be holding on to money too tightly, holding on to secrets that you shouldn't be holding on to, um, things of this nature. But with you walking away, I feel like the cards are saying, hold on a moment. You know, you've walked away. Hang in there. You have a message coming in with the Eight of Wands. I love this Eight of Wands. It's like a heat-seeking missile coming to you. Like, So hang in there. This message is coming in about a give and take job, one that pays you well and takes care of you just like you take care of it. And that's lovely. In this card, you can see that represented by she's giving the rat a little piece of food and in return, he's making sure all these other rats won't attack her. It's a give and take relationship. The Ace of Cups says there is a new beginning that you're going to love coming your way. And the Ten of Cups is, a, <laughs> that escalated quickly. Um, the Ten of Cups says it's, you're going to be happy. This is all of your wishes granted. Happy family, having everything you ever wanted. So, I feel like you've left behind something. And... It's possible you're hanging on to the thought of maybe I shouldn't have left it behind. And the cards are telling you it's time to let go of that thought. Because there's something else coming in that's going to give you more of a balanced give and take sort of experience within your career world. Um, it is a new offer, but it's going to make you very, very happy. And you're going to find it somewhere you never thought possible. Somewhere you never considered this is you, um, you know, maybe you love interior design and you don't have a degree in it or anything, but you have a really good eye. This is you reaching out to a designer and being like, hey, can I apprentice for you? Teach me, you know, help me. 
and um and them not only like teaching you and helping you but you winding up with a really good steady job out of this and not just a job but like a friendship too this is not just this is like a whole beautiful life so you walked away from something that wasn't working for you And this could be within your job. You could have walked away from an attitude that wasn't working for you. Um, and you've decided to sort of hang on to the idea that there will be more coming for you. And it winds up giving you a, a, a give and take sort of relationship with those in your, in your career field. And it allows you to start anew in a loving way. In a way that you, that brings you happiness. If you don't have a job, it's either because you left a job, but I kind of feel like some of you that are looking for a job, you need to leave behind preconceived notions of what you thought you could have. Right now, there you, you may need to take a job that you wouldn't normally have taken. And when you take that job you wouldn't normally have taken, which is finding solutions in unknown places. Maybe you think it's it's a job that's a little bit beneath you. This is like maybe taking a real t retail job when really you should be the manager of the store. But hang in there because as much as you don't like the job, there will be a message coming in from that job that brings you to where you want to go. Um, so that is what I have for you. Be careful of what you're spending and how you're spending it. Make a good budget for yourself and do your best to stick to it. That way, if there's any extra money coming in, it's all plus and you can kind of set it aside in case of emergency. But I don't feel like, mo I feel like most of you are really good with your money in this hang on. This four of pentacles is more of a hang in there sort of thing. So yeah. That's what I have for you, pal number three. You've left a job behind. Either, you know, you walked away or were fired from a job or let go because of what's going on currently. Hang in there. There is a message coming in that's going to give you an opportunity that you're going to love. It's going to be a solid give and take position. And you're going to love it. And it's going to bring you a lot of happiness. A lot of happiness. Um, keep an eye out in places you wouldn't normally look. Uh, this may also be, you may not think you have what it takes for a certain job because you're missing a qualification or something, but this is you saying, this, this is the cards telling you go for it. You may think that you left the possibility for this job behind, but hang in there and, and go for it because you're going to get a surprising response. Um, some of you are going to, to hear back and you're going to wind up with a job that you never expected that was like 10 times better than you ever could have hoped because you managed to take that leap and believe in yourself enough to, to stretch, if that makes sense. Because it was never really a stretch in the first place. You just believed it might be. All right. So that is what I have for you, pal number one. You gorgeous red jasper folk. I hope that this beautiful thing comes in for you. I hope that the perfect job for you shows up and I hope that this 10 of cups happens immediately because you guys absolutely 100% deserve it. You, I want you to repeat after me right now. You are gorgeous. I am say I am beautiful. I am amazing. I am smart and I will find a way to make it through this because I am a survivor because you are. It's right there in the cards. Cards don't lie. All right. I love you guys. Take care of yourselves. All right. Pile number two. My gorgeous amethyst cluster. Let's see what career and finances have in store for you. Your oracle cards are Little Owlin, Wisdom as Light as a Feather, number 39. And sacred beetle armor. You have a mighty shield. These two could be twins. They have the same haircut and everything. Oh, 
Oh, please don't fall down. How about we put you right there to keep them up? There we go. Be good little twins. <laughs> All right. Let me just move this back a little bit and see if I can't get more of them in the shot. There we go. All right. Let's see what your tarot cards have to say. The Eight of Swords says you're in a place where you kind of feel like you've been taken advantage of. You feel like you're trapped, like you don't have anywhere to go. There's nothing you can do. It tracks. I mean, honestly, we're all in quarantine. There really isn't a whole lot of places we could go. There really isn't a whole lot of things that we can do. This might be a good time to, to get more online. The Nine of Wands says that you are, you're feeling a little wounded and guarded. You've been hurt in the past and you're kind of carrying that with you right now. Cards are saying be careful of that. I like how the colors echo each other. We have the Four of Wands, which speaks of a relationship. Perhaps there's a relationship at work that makes you feel, I don't know, almost victimized in a way. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you're going through that. I would suggest talking to your business's human resource department. Nobody should be made to feel like that at work. The Ace of Swords talks about an epiphany, a sudden new beginning. An idea, the aha moment. In this, it talks about, um, you know, does she take the sword that's being offered to her? Does she allow the sword to come into her open hand and move forward with it? Or did she just let it fall to the ground? All right, and the King of Swords says that you're having to strategize something. But the World card says you get everything you want in the end because you have a mighty shield. All right, what I'm seeing here is maybe there is a situation at work where you've kind of felt trapped or like the victim, like they always blame you for everything. And you're feeling a little bit wounded and guarded and you don't like the relationship that you have with your coworkers or your boss or whoever this is that is making you feel that way. So you have the epiphany that it is time to speak up. It is time to say something. It is time to not just say something, but say something with proof, with receipts, with, you know, so that you can back up your claims. And once you do that, you know, the world is yours. This is someone at work who may not realize, <laughs> excuse me, I'm so sorry. This is someone at work who may not realize exactly how they're affecting you or exactly what they're doing to make you feel this way. Maybe they're picking on you or teasing you and they think of it like you're their little sister, but really it's hurting you and you're too afraid to say anything. But this has you having that aha moment. Well, if I don't say anything, then it's going to continue. And you speak up for yourself and you defend yourself. And, you know, they're like, I'm sorry. I didn't know that was hurting you. I'll make sure I don't do that again. I never wanted that. In the first, you know, I never wanted to hurt you. Um, so that's beautiful. For those of you that don't have a job, right now you're feeling a little bit trapped and a little bit wounded. You're not sure where to go or what to do. And the cards are telling you to go to an authority figure of some kind. Go to your community um, look at a community web post, look at a community Facebook page, um, community one ads, because while you're there, you're going to find the epiphany. You're going to find the thing for you that, you know, is going to have you filling out the forms that's going to bring you the world. So if there's like a job center in your area, this has you going online to the job center and filling out the forms, doing what's needed and getting, you know, getting the job or getting the unemployment help that you need so you can continue living. For those of you that are already in a job but aren't feeling like 
you know, a victim of it anyway. It could be that you're feeling trapped by your job. Like there's a, a, a ceiling in place you can't get above. You just, no matter how hard you try, you can't get past, you know, this thing. And you want to move ahead and you want to celebrate and you want to commit to this job. But you've now had the idea that commitment is not something that they're interested in. That, you know, this is a job that just flips people left, right, and center. So you're figuring out a plan to get what you want for your world. Be this a new job or something, maybe even starting your own business. Some of you need to talk to a career counselor. They're going to help you find the career that you're supposed to be in. Because I have a feeling you've kind of been beating your head against the wall in a career that you thought you've wanted to be in or were supposed to be in. But in actuality, there is a talent that you have. There is a gift that you have that only you have that is just absolutely amazing. And it needs to be given to the world. And you can't do that where you're at. So you need to talk to a career counselor because they're going to put you in a place where you're going to thrive, where you're going to sort of connect and have that aha moment. This is what you're meant to do. And you're going to sort of be able to look at everything on the board, decide where you want to move, decide where you want to go and what you want for yourself and anything you want for yourself, you're going to get, you're going to get it with the world here. So that is what I have for you. Pile number two, um, take heart. It will get better. I promise. Be very careful not to just immediately say no to opportunities that come your way just because it might not be something you're interested in or something you would have considered previously. Um, there is an opportunity within an opportunity that's being presented to you that could lead to a leadership role. So you just have to kind of be smart about it and don't be um, too wary. Be a little wary. I mean, obviously, ask questions. Um, you, but you're very smart, so trust your intuition and trust that you are guarded, that you are being guided. And um, things are going to be great for you. Just hang in there, I promise. You guys are, are really special and amazing. And yeah, things are going to look good for you, I promise. Hang, just hang in there. And if you need help, definitely talk to an authority figure of some kind, um, an unemployment assistance line, something along those lines. Um, you're going to find help that you didn't expect there. All right. Bye, guys. Love you. Pile number three. My beautiful peacock or people. All right. Let's see what the cards say about your career in finances. We have Once Upon a Midnight Dreary. Creativity, genius, writing, expression, artistic flow. Number 31. Well, some of you may be artists or authors. The Fairy Bee. My Life is Sweet. Number 6. Okay, for some of you, this quarantine time may have been giving you time to write and you're kind of feeling happy because you're actually able to to indulge in the writing or the painting or the sculpting or poetry or what you know, whatever it is that is your medium. This has you indulging and enjoying it. We have the Hierophant here, which speaks of a an authority figure or a serious relationship in your life. We have the Empress, which speaks of growth, of creation. Um, with the, the writing card, I almost feel like you're sort of taking control and you're, you're creating something. The King of Cups says they, it's going to be a fantastic success. Um, the King of Cups is a loving person, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. They can overindulge, so this card could be telling you to be careful. Um, writing is, is great, and sometimes you can get into a jag of writing where you can go for like 16 hours, and the cards are saying, be careful you don't do that. Try and keep a balance. 
The high priestess says, you know exactly what needs doing and how to do it because you are divine and you're connected to divinity. You have a strong intuition. You might be psychic or um, clairvoyant, clairsentient. But trust your intuition. This is a lot of major arcana here. We have the hermit. Okay. The hermit speaks of going out to gain wisdom. Going out to find the truth, either within yourself or out in the world around you. This is a lot of major arcana. And then your outcome card is the Three of Pentacles. A solid foundation for growth. Working together to create something amazing. All right. So, some of you, because you haven't had to go to work, <laughs> have had a little bit more time to write or paint or, you know, pursue your hobby. And you've really been creating a lot. And you're loving it. Trust your intuition on what you're doing. And seek some guidance from people that do it professionally. It's very possible that this quarantine time is giving you a solid foundation to start a new career off of. Or at least a side hustle, if you will. Um, this has you, you know, selling your paintings on Etsy. Or um, actually publishing your work. Um, sending it to publishers. Publishing it yourself. Th this has you taking this talent of yours. And really engaging in it. And loving it. And just... Being completely and fully open to all of it and to the almost, um, you know, intuitive of need. Like, you know exactly what to do. And if you're painting, you know what brush strokes to put where for the best effect. And you don't know how you know it. It just happens as you're painting because you're so connected. So... Do a little work and look Look inside yourself to see if this is something you want to do. If you're willing to put your work out into the world for people to buy and critique. If it is something you're interested in, take the steps necessary to build a solid foundation in it. Excuse me. <clears throat> if you're not interested in it. And then this says... Trust your intuition, find the thing that's right for you, and grow with it. For those of you looking for a job, right now, there is an authority figure that you admire. And I kind of feel like the cards are saying, take a little bit of a chance and send them your resume. Because you love them, and they, that will reflect, I believe, in the query letter that you send them or the cover letter that you send them. Trust your intuition on how to write it and seek guidance from people who write well. Um, seek guidance from, from those who write cover letters for a living or have written many cover letters and, um, and let it go. And it'll build, it'll help you build a solid foundation. If not with them, at least it'll help you build a solid foundation in cover letter writing. It's, it's a place to start. But I, I, I really do. I feel like this is almost a celebrity of some kind that you really admire and love. And, um, your intuition is telling you to reach out to them and ask, ask for some advice, some guidance, some information. And I think you'll be surprised that they will. They will give you the advice, guidance, and information because they want to build. And they want to see you build as well. For those currently in a job and not in any sort of creative pursuit, this has you creating something within your job that you're loving. This could be a new dy dynamic. This could be a new schedule, um, a new client, 
a new way of looking at the account or something. This creativity, genius, writing, expression, artistic flow, that does not necessarily have to be writing or painting. If you're an accountant, that you may, you know, you may write your numbers in a different color for, you know, instead of just using red and black, you may go with different colors, just a little bit of creativity. Um, so this has you just really enjoying what you're doing. Trust your intuition. Trust your smarts. Trust your brain. Trust your gut. You know a lot more than you think you do. Um, and do some look around about building a solid foundation, either at the, the job you're at now or, or just within yourself, within your work relationships. Because I, I feel like there may be a friend that you're overlooking because you think of them as a co-worker, but they could actually be a very good friend. So, yeah, someone needed to hear that. <laughs> For most of you, things are going to be okay. I don't see any strife here. Um, for the Three of Pentacles, I don't see you as Raven Morningwood so much as I see you as the couple from the Lover's Card in this series. This is the same couple that's in the Lover's Card. And I see them, you know, I see you as, as her offering or him offering help um, to somebody else. This could be you mentoring someone in the industry. Yeah. Some of you could be taking someone under your wing and teaching them everything you know to build a, a solid branch. Do this right, and you will not only build a solid branch, you will give yourself a tree for the future, if that makes sense. Like, the, there are people watching this. They're watching you create. They're watching you take this person, take this new little life, this new little baby, who came to the company and you they take you take them under their, your wing got the wing there you take them under your wing and and you train them you teach them you use your intuition with them to give to guide them and to give them a solid foundation within the company and they see that and that makes you management material so your life is going to be sweet trust your instincts 100% trust your instincts you know, do the research, but also trust your instincts. They will guide you the right way every time. All right, that is what I have for you, my gorgeous peacock or people. You guys are amazing. You're so beautiful and wonderful and kind. And I'm just so grateful that you take time out of your day to stop by here. It makes my life a whole lot brighter. And I hope I do the same for you. I love you guys. Take care of yourselves. For those wondering what cards I used... The tarot uh, cards I used are Tarot of a Haunted or Tarot of Haunted House by Sasha Graham and Mirko Pierfederici. Beautiful cards, absolutely love them. And the Oracle cards that I used are the Oracle of the Shapeshifters by Lucy Cavendish and Jasmine Beckett Griffith. Highly, highly recommend. Beautiful cards. Thank you very much. Have a good day.